What's going on Halo fans, Luke the Notable here. In this video, we'll be talking about why the newer Halo games don't have playable elites. Despite all of the extra customization options in Halo 4 and 5, there are no options for playable elites. There are well over 200 different armor variants, just armor in Halo 5, but no options to be an elite. The thing is, I think a lot of Halo fans think that this is a very simple option, that it's easy to bring back playable elites. Like there's some magic button somewhere at 343 Industries that brings back playable elites and all they have to do is press it, but they won't. Cause they want Halo to die! Now don't get me wrong, I'm a fan of playable elites and I would love to see them make a return. The thing is, it's a much more complicated issue than that, and in this video, I'm going to be going over why. Because I think playable elites deserve a place in Halo's multiplayer even today. So what are we waiting for? Let's get this video started. To start this video, let's first talk about the history of playable elites. The first time we saw playable elites was with Halo 2. Halo 2's armor customization was nothing like what we have today. You could either be a basic Mark V Spartan or an elite in any color you wanted. Yeah, it wasn't much, but it was still a lot more customization than we got in Halo Combat Evolve. But once we got to Halo 3, elites saw a serious upgrade. In addition to basic elite armor, we also got some customized armor that we had never seen before in Halo, and you could put them on in Halo 3. My personal favorite in the elite armor that I used all the time was the ascetic armor. I used the ascetic armor for multiple reasons. One, it had a good achievement behind it. In order to get the ascetic armor shoulders, you had to get an overkill in Lone Wolves, which back then was pretty tough. And two, it just looks badass. How can you not look at that and think, wow, that's something that I want to wear in matchmaking? And if you know the deeper lore, it's even cooler. The ascetics were a group of elites that were deeply religious. An ancient order of elites that were disbanded officially with the formation of the Covenant. But secretly, they kept their traditions alive. And they got face knives! Now with Halo Reach, you could argue that the overall design of the elites is much better. I think personally, as far as looks go, the Halo Reach elites look the best. But as far as armor customization goes, not that great. Which is weird, because when it comes to Spartan armor, Halo Reach definitively has the best armor customization. You can change everything about your Spartan in Halo Reach. And Halo Reach implemented a pretty good way of earning those armors as well. The credit system of Halo Reach is still remembered as one of the best ranking systems in all of Halo. But even though the Spartans had some of the best armor customization that we had ever seen in any Halo game, the elites kind of got shafted in Halo Reach. I already said that the elites of Halo Reach look great, but the armor customization is not good in Halo Reach. The customization options for Halo Reach are insanely shallow. There's no way to change out shoulders or headpieces or chests. Sort of unfortunate that Halo Reach was a step back in the armor customization department when it comes to elites. However, it wasn't a big a step back as Halo 4 and 5 have taken because Halo 4 and 5 don't have any customization options when it comes to elites. But now that we've come full circle, it's time to talk about why. First, I think we should go over the most likely reason that we don't have playable elites in Halos 4 and 5, and that is the overall redesign of the elites in the newer Halo games. This is what an elite looked like in Halos 1, 2, 3, and Reach. This is what an elite looks like in Halos 4 and 5. It's important to note that from a lore perspective, even though both of these elite designs look very different, they are still technically elites. They are just subspecies of one another, sort of like the jackals and the skirmishers. I did a whole video on that, you should check it out. One of the main design differences here is that the elites from Halo Halo's 4 and 5 appear much taller because of their straighter upright spines. I guess from a design perspective, if you're trying to artistically show that something is a bad guy, a villain, an alien, you would want to make it taller, or at least seem as inhuman as possible. And I guess making the elites a little bit taller and more upright helps to do that. Though from a gameplay perspective, now the hitboxes are going to be different for Spartans vs Elites. But wait, that's exactly how it was in Halo Reach, and we still had playable elites in some fashion. Okay, in Halo Reach you couldn't be an elite in every playlist only specific game modes like Invasion. But even though the Elites were bigger than the Spartans and had bigger hitboxes, it didn't stop Bungie from putting them into the multiplayer. And if you want to argue that Elites and Spartans and matchmaking isn't a canon thing, well, you're wrong on that front too, especially with Halos 4 and 5. The Elites and the humans aren't necessarily on the best of terms, but they're not necessarily enemies, and there's evidence in the extended lore of them training together. And just take a look at the Helioskrill armor from Halo 5, made a whole video on that, you should check it out. It is a suit of Spartan Mjolnir armor that was designed and created by the elites for the UNSC. But you're gonna tell me that Spartans and the elites can't fight side by side or against one another? Come on, man. Spartan abilities implemented in the newer Halo games probably also have this side effect of no playable elites, because if you have Spartan abilities, why would elites be able to use those in playable matchmaking? In Halo 5, we have Spartan charge. Would it be elite charge if we had playable elites? You'd have to design entire animations for an entire different set of models, and they probably won't look as good as they do in Spartans. Have you ever 
seen a Halo Reach Elite sprinting, it's just a faster version of the walking. At the end of the day, the design for the Elites in Halos 4 and 5 is ultimately what led to their downfall as playable characters. Elites in Halos 1, 2, and 3 were designed in a way that allowed them to fit right into the multiplayer aspects of Halo. But with Halos 4 and 5, that's going to be a little bit more difficult. Here's the thing though, I don't think most Halo fans, myself included, would mind seeing playable Elites in the newer Halo games. Even if the Elites are maybe a little bit taller, maybe they don't look the same as they used to, I, I still want to play as one. Even if it's just messing around in social, it'd be cool to play as an Elite. More armor customization is always a good thing, and 343, if you're listening to this, you could sell it in gold packs. You could have a special Elite Rec Pack, it costs $99. Rake in that money, baby. There's also an idea floating around that Elites are harder to shoot from different angles. This is an idea that came out of Halo 3, and is sort of based in reality. Now Bungie did confirm that in Halo 3, Spartans and Elites had the exact same hitbox. So from a data perspective, if you're shooting at a Spartan or you're shooting at an Elite, you are shooting at the same thing. Just because an Elite's head or chest is a different size, it doesn't mean that the head or chest hitbox is any different. Okay, yeah, visually, in Halo 3, if you look at an Elite from the back, you can't really even see its head. However, you can still shoot its head at the top of its back because that's where the head hitbox is. And I guess in theory, if you're playing Halo 3 and you wear an Elite set of armor and your head is hidden from behind, that would give you an advantage over players that don't know about the hitbox. In Halo 3, there was also a glitch that was never patched where you can shoot directly through an Elite's neck. It's a very specific spot and it's very easy to mess up when you're trying to find it. But nevertheless, a hole in the neck that you can shoot through is still technically sort of game breaking. So instead of getting a headshot in a game of SWAT, or snipers, if you're shooting an elite from the side, there was a chance that it'll just go right through its neck. Now as you can see by this footage, if you're using an elite from Halo 3 with a larger head, it's a lot harder for bullets to go through your neck. In fact, I could never get it to work. Now this infuriated players, sure, but it is a small hole to begin with anyway. This glitch was only in Halo 3, but let's just hypothetically say that Halo 4 and 5 both had playable elites and this glitch was still there. It probably still wouldn't affect the higher tier of the competitive community because there's regulations in tournaments. Any Anyone playing for money could just say that you have to be a default Spartan in order to compete. So even if there's this actual or perceived notion that being an elite offers a better competitive advantage, at the highest tier, it's not going to matter. And I think at the end of the day, all of these competitive focused arguments can be solved by only allowing playable elites in social game modes. If it's in social where competitive ranks don't matter, then it doesn't hurt anyone, right? And I'm still going back on the fact that more armor customization is always a good thing. Both Bungie and 343 Industries are guilty in rolling back customizable options for elites. And I think more needs to be done. Halos 4 and 5 aren't necessarily bad games because they don't have playable elites, but I definitely think they are missing something. The freedom to play as an alien, the original antagonist in Halo Combat Evolve. There's a lot of controversy surrounding playable elites. Not everyone is 100% on board, if you can believe that. I hope this video shed a little bit more light on the situation, and I hope at the very least you understand a little bit more about why playable elites aren't a thing anymore. And even if we only got to use them in social modes, it'd still be pretty cool to have them. Let me know what you guys have to think about playable elites down in the comments section below. I love reading comments, it's my favorite part about YouTube, and I still read all my comments. I mean, honestly, some of the best videos I've ever made have come from my comments section. Speaking of some of the best videos I've ever made, for the first time ever on this channel, right now, I'm going to be showing you a sneak early peek at the next LTN video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, because it's going to be one of my best videos yet, I can already feel it. So without further ado, here's your sneak peek to why the Covenant can speak English. What's going on Halo fans, Luke the Notable here. In this video, we'll be talking about how the Elites learned English. The Elites of Halo Combat Evolved or Halo 1 couldn't speak any English, though that did lead to the Elites awesome catchphrase. <laughs> but by Halo 2, we saw the Elites speaking full English sentences and not only in the cutscenes. Do you do foot massages, Doctor? After the events of Halo Combat Evolved, when Master Chief destroyed the first Halo ring, Thel Vadam, the Arbiter in Halo 2, signed up for a free 30-day trial of Audible. The Arbiter clicked the sacred link in the description, which gave him one free audiobook from Audible. And he gets to keep that audiobook for eternity even if he cancels. So click the link in the description and take your great journey today. Eternal glory to Audible. I am forever in your debt. If you liked this video and you don't want to miss the next one, then subscribe to my channel for free right now. If you click the LTN logo in the left of your screen, you can subscribe to my channel, but also make sure you hit that bell icon. If you hit the bell icon, you can make sure that you'll never miss one of my uploads. And if you missed my last video, check it out by clicking the thumbnail link on the right. It's all about Master Chief's face. My name's Luke the Notable. I want all of you to stay notable. 
and I will see you in the next video.